This is the story of the first steps that Messi took on his journey to becoming the greatest of all time. Messi left Barcelona in tears after making 778 appearances and scoring 672 goals for the Catalan Giants. But what made Messi the man he is today? Lionel Andres Messi was born in Rosario, Argentina on the 24th of June 1987. He lived in this house with his father Jorge, a steel worker, and his mother Celia, a part-time cleaner, alongside his three siblings. Leo's passion for football started at an early age, when playing with his older brothers. However, Messi's first real influence as a player was his grandmother, Celia. Celia is the reason that Messi always points to the sky when celebrating. At just four years old, Lionel joined the worst team in town, Grandoli, at the advice of his grandmother. Messi couldn't get a game at any club due to his size, so Celia suggested he join the struggling team. A lousy team needs a great player, right? They need you. They have no idea how good you are, so we will show them. Celia convinced the coach, Salvador Aparicio, to hand little Leo a chance on the pitch, despite his size compared to the other players. Messi surpassed all expectations and left Aparicio dumbfounded with his dribbling ability. Aparicio told Celia, Did you see that? They couldn't shake him. He's like a flea you can't get rid of. Two years later, Messi was spotted kicking a ball around while watching his brother play for the Newell's Old Boys youth team. The club's academy director, Carlos Marconi, liked what he saw and invited Leo to play with his brother's team. And once again, Messi surprised everyone. He came on, took the ball, dribbled it past the whole team and scored a goal. So I took him to play with the bigger boys and the same thing happened. Messi was quickly snapped up by the side and became an integral part of the Machine of 87, the near unbeatable youth side named for the year they were born. In his six years at the club, Messi scored almost 500 goals, although some of the credit has to go to Marconi. He was introverted, very shy and a fussy eater. He didn't like most things, but he did like chocolate biscuits. So I told him that for every goal he scored, I would give him a biscuit. This clearly motivated young Messi, but Marconi wanted more. So he changed the rules, offering two biscuits if the little magician could score with his head. He went round all the players and when he reached the goal, he flicked the ball up and scored with his head. I was in the stands and he looked at me and signalled two. However, when Messi turned 10, his dream of being a footballer nearly died. Messi was diagnosed with growth hormone deficiency, which explained his small stature. At the time of his diagnosis, Messi was just four foot two. His father's health insurance only covered two years of growth hormone treatment, which cost around $1,000 a month. Initially, Newell Old Boys agreed to pay for Messi's treatment, but before long, they were no longer willing to invest long-term in such a young boy. He was soon scouted by Buenos Aires club River Plate, but they too were unable to pay for his treatment due to the Argentine economic collapse. However, Messi had one last Hail Mary left in the bag. His parents flew Lionel out to Catalonia, where they had family living to arrange a trial with La Masia, Barcelona's famed youth academy. On the line was not just a chance to play for one of the biggest clubs in the world, but also the chance to continue his treatment. At his trial, a 13-year-old Messi scored five goals. Barcelona's first team director, Carles Resac, decided he wanted to sign Messi within two minutes. However, the board wasn't sure. The Messi family delivered an ultimatum to Barcelona. Resac did not need telling twice. With no paper to hand, he drew up a contract on a paper napkin. Messi signed immediately. Barca agreed to pay for Leo's treatment, and in 2001, Messi joined La Masia. Initially, it wasn't smooth sailing for Messi. He struggled with homesickness when his mother and siblings returned to Argentina, and his ability to play football was limited due to transfer rules, meaning he could only play in friendlies and the Catalan League in his first year. But in 2002, Messi was fully enrolled into the Spanish league and quickly made friends with future stars such as Cesc Fabregas and Gerard Piquet. In his first full year at La Masia, Messi scored 36 goals in 30 games and won an unprecedented treble, becoming an integral part of the baby dream team. And the rest is history. Messi won his first league title with Barcelona in 2005, his first senior treble in 2009 and broke the record for most Ballon d'Or awards in 2019. And no matter what comes next for the little maestro, his journey into professional football will always be one of the core experiences that will have made him the greatest of all time.